Hey my jolly jinkies, this is your gamer Mono's best and welcome back to another episode in our Let's Enjoy series. And we are about to start our very first um, let's play with The Life is Strange. So I don't know much about this game, but it is um it is a free PlayStation Plus game for the month of uh, June. And so I decided to play uh, pick this game up and um, give it a shot. So, without any further ado, it's go time. As always, I like to check all my settings, see how the default settings are. And if it's to my likings, I'll keep the default settings. If not, I'll change it. Normal. Okay, we're good to go. Okay, so it seems like the uh, the subtitle Samuel Pig is this is what they meant. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, Damn, can you give headshot. me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. The 
because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should to upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Too obvious? Old school is nice. What if Arbus chose to I do love my analog camera. Of their beauty or I should take a quick picture now. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. <sighs> of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um, you're asking me? I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, Sorry, making guys. them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Did Mr. Jeff? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? This is a nice journal. I like it. Oh nice, that's a mess from the journal. That's so epic. Which I had a journal that can show me my SMS. Out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Damn teachers. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class. Oh, you're right. Just turning in a photo, so. What's up, Kate? Hi, Kate. Oh. I just worked so Hi, Max. Hard the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think every day here. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Not bad. Not bad indeed. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. I should have known. 
She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. You know, when I was um, in kindergarten, I used to have all my books, um, textbooks, gift wrapped. So I can, uh, uh, what do you call it? So my uh, front and back covers don't get scratched. Yeah. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. All right, Max, take note and do your homework. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You're just getting your Welcome eyes. to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. I'm not paying $150. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. She plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. Oh, please tell me this is not a copyright music. This is gonna suck if it is. I'm guessing this is mine? I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them... That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Bully! I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. American girls in the movie. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. American girls like Dolly. It looks like she's been gone for months. I wish I had an American. They should just call it a sugar machine. Girl. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. And as a janitor. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. Look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those Bigfoots. They do stomp. Blackwell sure takes it swimming seriously. But otters are cute. 
Go Otters! No one could dry her fountain till she yes. got time no. to come no. Oh, I missed my chance. That's when I fly. He's cute. I like Why? skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. To your Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. You heard me, Miss Grant. I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Whoa. When a door closes, a window opens. Or Illuminati! Something like that. I see Illuminati. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Dude, you're in the wrong washroom. Unless you're, uh... It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who oh, you're messing shit. around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh! Here comes a superpower. Whoa. What the fuck? 